Today we're doing something a little bit special. We're going to get the engine. And what did we do to the engine? We're going to take it to the machine shop to get can bearings. We already took it to the machine shop to get can bearings, right? So we're gonna pick it up today. What is up and welcome back to A21 Bravo where today I'm gonna introduce you to my friend Blocky McBlockface. All shined up, a little bit clean, a little bit rusty actually, but we got some new cam bearings in there. That should be good to go. So I took this thing in recently. This is a 300,000 mile block. 333,000 mile LQ4. I got it for $200 on Craigslist, had low oil pressure, uh, I went to pull the cam out and one of the cam bearings came out on the shaft. So took it to the machine shop, new cam bearings, got a hot tank. Today we're gonna do a couple things. One of the things I'm gonna do is try this Duplicolor Rust Fix. This is supposed to turn rust to primer, so I'm gonna take that surface rust that's on there and then spray this garbage all over it and see what happens. Hopefully it'll turn it into primer and then I got another Duplicolor Gloss Black Engine Paint fantabulousness it's gonna be amazing or it just won't look like rust the next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna reach behind my back and then pull out some dingleberries we got this little flex on dingleberry ball hone and we're gonna basically do the deglazing on the cylinders try to get a good cross hatch back in there before we can throw the pistons and rings back in there we're doing all new rings and everything else so we'll try to get a nice surface area for those rings to seat to once again boys and girls i got the gopro mounted up on my tv moving tripod here and we're gonna make a time lapse of the whole process so that's gonna come out after the engine build is done but basically everything that i'm gonna do on this engine build is gonna be recorded on the time lapse on the gopro so i'm gonna put that all clipped together and that's gonna be awesome when it's done Let's get started. So first thing you're gonna do is take your battery for your drill off the charger and then pull the trigger and then realize that you didn't actually charge the battery. So we're gonna use some of this paper to kind of mask this off. And I'm just gonna rip out a couple sheets. Just gonna basically tape right to the edge. All right, I got this thing all taped off now. Ended up using some of this tape here. I don't know if this is like ducting tape, not duct tape, but you know, it's tape. So we're gonna do some of this stuff. Rust fix, dupla color. Chuck it on. Let's see what happens. Ooh, did you see it? Pretty impressive. I did take some of the crank cap bolts and stick them in there just to plug the holes so I didn't have to stuff a wad of paper in. Like here's a put wad of paper stuffed in this side. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this stuff. If you ever used it, let me know what it looks like when it's done. service announcement guys so it came to my attention that some of you guys don't have notifications turned on which means that when I upload something you don't get notified when that happens so take this opportunity right now if you're not subscribed do that subscribe and hit the notification button which is the little bell when you hit the little bell it's gonna get a couple little ding-a-ling marks next to it that's how you know you're gonna get notifications so when I upload something or anytime I put some content up you guys are gonna get notified and you'll get to see it right away some of you guys are missing it but most of you are not So here's what that looks like with just that uh, rust primer junk on it. I would say it worked in some spots, but it doesn't look as rusty as it did. Now I'm going to go ahead and 
Just use the engine enamel and do the thing. Alright, so we got a couple coats of black on the block now. Looks pretty good in most spots anyways. I'm just going to let this kind of set up a little bit and then we'll take the paper off and start to do the honing on it. Pull this stuff off. Well, the tape was kind of crappy. I'm gonna have to pull that stuff off. It a bunch of it got stuck on there. Uh, but now I want to hone the cylinders. So let's get started on that. So I think what I'm gonna do is just use some old, uh, old oil, kind of drip it in the cylinders. Oh, that was a lot. This is transmission fluid, but. Wow, I'm using more than I think I'm using. <laughs> just to kind of lubricate the, the walls. Yeah, it'll help some of the dust. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick my dingleberries in there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like a count of 10. I'm gonna go down and up 10 times and then I'll reverse the direction. Then I'll go down and up 10 times and we'll, we'll just go with that for now and see what that looks like. I'll go opposite direction. See a lot of the, the metal from the wall coming off. Gonna see where we're at. We have a nice uh, little cross hatch in there. Some 45s. Basically, the cross hatches are at a 45 degree angle. They actually, don't look too bad. I think I'm gonna do the other side quick. I don't really see too much in there that I really feel like I need to go over again. I might do it just for good measure, but I don't think that looks too bad. Go through and give it a final wipe down. We can look at the pattern and see what it looks like. So there it is. They don't really look too bad, I don't think. Let's get busy. All right, guys. Next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, 
putting the crank in. So got the cylinders and everything all cleaned up. So I'm gonna start putting the bearings in so I can get the crank in. One of the main bearings here, it's got this little tab on it. And that's gonna go right in this little notched out section of the, uh, the block here. And then I'm gonna save this one because that's gonna go on the top side. I'm gonna line that little tang up. And see also that these oiling holes will line up. So this should be good, ready to set the crank down. I'm gonna get some assembly lube and then we'll we'll lube it before we stick the shaft in. Go ahead and throw some lube on. Then you just use one finger, get a little bit of lube in there and then just use one finger to kind of spread it around. That way you make sure you get everything and once everything's uh, nice and lubed up, she's ready to go, then you can slam the shaft right in there. Slam it in there gentle though first time if you hear any any squealing or weird anything weird then you might want to pull it back out I'll go ahead and grab the caps so I'm gonna start with the center cap because it's got this little little thingy I'm just gonna make sure that I'm putting it on the right way so here's the cap for the middle and these are all numbered too you can see this these all these caps are numbered air one of them so we got one, two, three, from the front to the back. And then they all got these little beveled edge. This goes towards the back of the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this bearing right inside this cap, lube it up. Open the cap, then lube it up. Pro tip. So that is in. I'm gonna put the regular bolts in the middle and then these have the little studs sticking out. These will go on the outside. These are what's gonna hold on the, the windage tray. So this won't be a final torque, but I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of tighten this down. I'm gonna test the crankshaft, make sure it still turns. There's not like anything weird binding or anything going on there. So now I'm gonna go through and do the same thing with the rest of the caps. All right, so I'm gonna go through and start torquing these down. These outside bolts are supposed to be like 15 foot pounds on first pass and then 80 degrees on second pass. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these to 15 foot pounds. And then I'm just gonna eyeball these things for degrees. So it's supposed to be 80, so you go 90, I'll go 10. So I'm just gonna use the angle of the wrench and then do like a approximate 80 degrees. Something like that. Ooh, that was probably like 81 and a half. I think I gotta start over. Just kidding. I'm gonna go through and do the the inner bolts. Probably doing these in the wrong order, but whatever. So I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll go to 15. These ones are actually supposed to go to 80. I think it's the outers are supposed to go to like 53, but we'll do the same on both. And just not tell anybody about it and it'll be perfectly fine. Now I'm just gonna go through and do the side bolts and then I'm gonna do these to 18 foot pounds. All right, so we got the crankshaft in, everything is torqued down, still moves freely. So that's a good sign.
All right, guys, that's it for this one. Crankshaft is in. Next video, we're going to be gapping the piston rings and getting the pistons and everything back in there. This thing, I think, is going to go together pretty quickly once we start rolling on it. Probably only going to take a couple days to get this thing ready. Stick around for that. Subscribe if you're new. Have a good one. <laughs>